Hey everybody, it's Haley, and today we're gonna make some super soft and fluffy chocolate chip cookies. And I mean, that's really all there is to say. I do have quite a few chocolate chip cookie recipes already on my channel. Um, I'll try to link those below, or I think you can like, put a box somewhere up here if you wanna check those out, because I know people have a lot of different ways they like chocolate chip cookies, and honestly, there's no perfect chocolate chip cookie, which I have learned because it's really just what I'm in the mood for. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a really crispy chocolate chip cookie. Sometimes I just want like a fluffy one. Sometimes I want a more classic version. But if you like soft and fluffy chocolate chip cookies, then this recipe might be just for you. Let's get started. First, I have one cup of salted butter that is super soft, just like that, not melted. Melted butter, I think, can kind of give you like those crispier edges a lot of times. We don't want that. Cream. And then we have one cup of granulated sugar and one cup of brown sugar, nice and equal. And I'm gonna use my mixer to beat that together until it's light and fluffy. It should kind of change color. It's gonna take a few minutes. All right, and then you're gonna add in two eggs and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Quite a bit, but I see more and more recipes where they put a lot of vanilla extract into whatever they're making. But that's something that like I've kind of been doing since I started baking because that's what my mom does, that's what my grandma does. It's really the secret. It's the special secret ingredient. Except it's not really a secret. Ugh, okay, and then you're gonna mix that in. And then over here in a separate bowl, we have three cups of all-purpose flour, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of cornstarch, which will help make our cookies extra soft. And I'm gonna stir the dry ingredients together. Right, now it's time to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, and I am gonna sift mine in. This is optional, but I just kinda feel like sifting it, and I think it's gonna make them you know, more light. It's always good to sift. Okay, this is kinda of for the four. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing this cute, floral apron today. It's new. I got it from one of my best friends, Michaela Mac and Cheese. So thank you so much. I absolutely love this pattern. And now we are going to mix it in the dry. Then add two cups of chocolate chips, and this can be a blend, or you can just do one kind. I'm doing semi-sweet and dark chocolate today. Okay. My cookie dough is all done, and now it's time to scoop it out. I have a parchment lined baking sheet here. You can also use a silicone mat, or um, I don't know, I really don't recommend like baking them straight on the pan. 
unless you have a non-stick pan because otherwise um, the edges get like really crispy and brown. And I have a cookie scoop here and I'm gonna scoop out my cookies. But you don't have to use a cookie scoop if you don't have one. You can just use a spoon and make them whatever size you want. And now we're ready to bake these. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna bake these for eight to 10 minutes. I can already feel it's summertime. I'm gonna need to start making some summer desserts where I don't have to turn on the oven because it's hot. And voila, the cookies are out of the oven. <laughs> and I'm gonna try one, of course, because why wouldn't I? Super soft, oh my gosh. If you scooped out your cookies like to make them bigger, then they would be thicker. But since I did kind of smaller cookies, they're um, they're not as thick. So if you want them super thick and fluffy, um, do like bigger cookies. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, so soft. Just look at this cookie. So good. Mm, these are like so super soft. Oh my gosh. And also make sure you don't over bake your cookies. You want to take them out when they're not glossy on top anymore, but they might still like kind of look puffy and soft. But like when they cool down, then they'll kind of finish cooking and like they're going to look a little different once they're cooled. Well, thank you so much for baking with me today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button so you know every time I post a new video. And I think I'm gonna start making lots of summer recipes. I turned on the oven today and it was just so hot. It's June now in Texas. And so I'm gonna need to make like ice cream and popsicles and popsicles. I can't make popsicles, can I? I don't know, just summery desserts. <laughs> Anyway, I will see you next time. Bye! Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> yeah, that type of summer dessert. <laughs> it's almost my birthday. I'm just kidding, that's my sister's summer. We're not making that summer dessert. We're making summer of the season desserts. Yeah.